The Hanami Tent at the Richmond Cherry Blossom Festival has traditionally provided visitors a chance to experience Japanese artistic practices as interpreted by local community members. For this year's virtual event, seniors from the Japanese Canadian Cultural Center's craft group will demonstrate how to make a woven paper basket. They will be using salmon can labels donated from BC Packers, a former fish processing facility and where many of these individuals used to once work. This is a complicated craft that takes a lot of time and patience to complete. For the basket, you will need a few different household items. You can use any kind of paper for this craft, like wrapping paper or even paper shopping bags. The first step is to make a pattern out of cardboard that is approximately 4.5 by 11.5 centimeters. This will act as our stencil to ensure all of our paper cutouts are uniform. Using a paper clip, secure the cardboard pattern onto the paper of your choice and cut out the shape using scissors. You'll need roughly 100 pieces to make a basket. Once you've cut the pattern from your paper, it's time to fold them to size. Fold your paper in half lengthwise, then open up and fold along the outside edge to the center on both sides. Repeat this for all of the pieces you've cut out. It's time to make the base. Use a knitting needle or other tool to fold strips in half. Interlock four strips together as shown. Once you've completed this step, continue expanding the base with additional strips of paper. Repeat until you've reached the desired basket size. When a strip of paper can no longer be woven into other pieces, secure the ends by tucking it inside the last strip it reaches. Once you've completed the base of your basket, it's time to complete the sides and corners. Feed a folded strip through one of the holes in the base. Then, wrap a folded strip sideways around the vertical piece. Tuck in any edges that might remain. As you work, gently bend the edges upward so that the walls can begin to take shape.
now you're at the corner. Rather than taking a new folded strip and wrapping it through one of the holes in the base, you're going to connect it directly to the vertical strip on the next side of the basket. You'll notice that the corner piece has a triangle shaped hole, rather than a square. That's how you know you've done it correctly. The last step is the trickiest. To finish the edges of the basket, you'll use a couple of different folding patterns. First, place what will be your final row of vertical folded strips. Secure it in place by tucking away any edges. Then, take another folded strip and wrap it sideways around the vertical overhang. Again, tuck away any edges. Returning to the vertical overhang, fold one side of the strip towards you and to the left, creating a 45 degree angle in the paper. Then fold this piece downward, covering the horizontal strip. Secure it in place by using the tucking method. Repeat this step with the other side of the strip, but in the opposite direction. Fold the strip away from you and to the left then downwards towards the inside of the basket. Secure it in place. how to complete the edges of your basket. The full process will take between four to six hours to complete a basket that can hold standard sized dinner napkins. You can finish it with a craft varnish so that it holds steady and lasts longer. The seniors group have completed countless woven pieces over their weekly sessions and are always learning new crafts as well. Mark your calendars for spring 2023 when we hope you'll join us in person at Gary Point Park under the Hanami tent.